gonna say kill him, but uh, yeah, dying. I should save after the cutscene. Right. So we know there's a whole bunch of guys down there. Hmm. Yeah, not getting me anywhere. Spray and pray it is. Whoa. Okay, so far so good. Calls for another quick save, I'd say. Help. Everything counts. So. Jeez. There we go. Gagnini ran out of steam in a dead end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shake down time. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, the nightclub. Book me, take me in a home into the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. Still part one. Wow. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of a nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son. Just like Jack Lupino. Alright. What can we find? Nobody in a ticket booth, that seems unwise. Did I just set off the alarm? <laughs> I might I might have. The book had never been a bestseller. What does it say? The Age of Murder and Storm. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled, The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. 
I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. They were all about the Norse myths? Sign me up. <laughs> their Ragnarok is a lot more involved than what they just said there, though. There's a lot to it. It's uh, actually pretty funny. Um, but pretty interesting. So you should read up on that and not take it for what was just said. Well, let's put it at that. I don't want to, you know, go rant here. <laughs> Good amount of ammo. So, where did that that yell just come from? He's probably right above me, isn't he? Oh god. <laughs> they literally just land on the edge. On the railing. That's perfect. Couldn't have gone better. God, going through painkillers so caught them quickly. That may have been overkill, but uh, you got a tiny bit of profit out of that. Free kill, no damage. Sometimes you just seem to get lucky, and the guys just won't hit you. There really does seem to be no rhyme or reason to it. It's just fucking random. Or that's what it seemed like to me. Books on the occult had been piled on the table. The room was stacked with light reading, such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost. Old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis. Books with pentagrams on their covers, all dealing with the occult and the infernal, lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. Hmm. Spreading? Speaking? Freaking? No, it's freaking. Freaking zombie demons from outer space. Yes, that seems very likely. <laughs> Fuck. Only one left. One painkiller. Oh, that's good. But where do we go? We came in here, so over there. So that that, that bit was just an extra. Okay. 
can I see your games? button is going to trigger something big. You can tell. <laughs> or just some pyro. Yeah, that works. Let's go out the other way then. Locked, locked. Up we go. This is a room I actually remember. That means it caused me a lot of trouble at some point. Hmm. That was lucky. That was lucky. One down. Three down. Is that it? Seems to be it. That made me jump. <laughs> that guy made me jump. Uh, down to one painkiller again. That guy with Ingrams. Sorry, a lot of guys with Ingrams. No painkillers. Great. Hmm, let's see how we do. I think I was late to the party, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, that seemed like a horrible plan to jump down there. I saw some guy running up, so... Christ, more guys with Ingrams? Painkillers. And a lot of enemies. <laughs> and a shotgun. And a shotgun. Hmm. Considering we know the guy over there is an Ingram. Press the reload button, but uh, I don't have enough ammo. Oh. 
That made it a lot easier. <laughs> Just ambush him at the stairs. Maybe I should uh, just mess around with these sawed off. Come on. Yeah. Karaoke never was my scene. Could be. No. He doesn't want to. Pump action one seems a bit better. Oh, okay. So have we just made a path? Except the fourth one. Yeah, I think we might be able to pass through now. Yes. No. Running all the way up. Okay. Okay, that was, that was a pretty good game. You get some plus points for that. <laughs> Seriously, who leaves the... Uh, the planks lying like this, though? It seems really dangerous. Still part one. The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Well, there's a whole bunch of things lying here as well, but... Punchinello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong on you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. It's pretty funny to see how the uh, mobsters are Lupino's all... Lupino's notes covered the table. Yeah, how they're all, you know... Upsizing each other, if that's the right word. Jack Lapino was crazy, all right. The table was scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood. A mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods evoked. Beelzebub! Asmodeus! Baphomet! Lucifer! Loki! Chitulu! Lilith! Hela! Blood given to you all. He was after that old Faustian deal. Your soul for power and fortune. Just sign on the dotted line with your blood. Hmm. Sounds pleasant. But I am actually going to call the set here. Because um, I didn't have a lot of time today. So, yeah. So I guess I, I kind of figured I'd go until the... Um, yeah, I didn't think there were this many uh, chapters in one part. Because we're still in part one, American Nightmare. So, yeah, I thought that would be uh, shorter and I just, you know, finish that. But uh, it is apparently a lot longer than I uh, thought it was, that, uh, than I thought it was. But uh, probably not too far off now. But, uh, yeah, I really don't remember how long this game even is. So, but it's a decent amount of hours, I think. 
Anyway, it, it's fucking great. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's really fun playing through this. Even though I die a lot, it, it is still fun. It is one of those games where I don't really mind dying that much, though it's a bit in the face at some time. You know, sometimes it is. Because there's a shot, shotgun guy just right around the corner, and you don't even get to see him. And he's just like, bam, you're dead. There's not much you can do other than quick save after every fight. And then some. <laughs> which I keep forgetting, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys can forgive me for that. But uh, yeah, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys next time. See you, dudes.